my channel is Tay Rose. Now for today's video, I will be doing a makeup look to ring in spring. As you can tell, I have my flower wall and whatever. This is inspired by a picture. It's going to be somewhere on the screen. I'm going to do my right eye and my left eye different using two different products. I did this before. I'm going to link the video at the end of this video. If you want to see which products you can use and how to achieve this look that you've seen all over the thumbnail, then please be sure to keep watching. I'm going to start with my right eye because it's the easiest. I usually go in with the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken 24 Hour 5-1 Concealer and this is in the shade 045. This I'm going to use for both eyes. So my concealer will remain the same for every step. Just a disclaimer, just putting that out there. I know a lot of you are going to say, why didn't you put it on the left eye? Again, I don't like when the concealer creases on this eye and then it stays like that too. So I'm just doing one eye at a time. I'm going to take this out foundation brush and then I'm just going to blend this out. This does wonders, in case you were wondering. I forgot to mention this too earlier, that I did my eyebrows and I did the base of my face. If you want to see what it is that I'm using right here, I'm going to link my TikTok video in the description box below so you make sure to take a look at that. So now the first palette I will be using is this Makeup Revolution and Bratz eyeshadow palette. Unfortunately, this is no longer available. This is why I have a backup for my left eye. But my right eye is the closest to me. It's some closest that you will get with the look that is somewhere on the screen. And this has a mirror, so I don't have to use my small mirror yet. So now the first product that I will be um, delving into is OU Boys. So this shade is going to go directly on top of my um, crease. This is going to act as my transition shade. I also will take the same OU Boys shade and I'm going to apply that to the outer third of my eye. Now I'm going in with Rock Angels and All Together, those two colors mixed together from that same palette. And that is going to go directly into my crease. Now for my cut crease, I'm taking the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade 30, and I'm just making that crease. Sorry that you couldn't really see it because my mirror was in the way, but I do have other videos that you can watch. I'm going to link it in the cards above. Now for my cut crease shade, I'm going to go in with Doll from the same Makeup Revolution and Bratz palette. With this shade, I'm going to only do this on the first half of my eye because I want the rest of the concealer that I have to blend in. And so now on that part, I'm going to take the same Rock Angels and all together now. And I'm going to mix that in and blend that in so that way my lid looks very seamless. For my bottom lash line, I'm going in with the She Glam Concealer and this is in the shade Barley Sugar. And I'm only placing it directly underneath my eyes and then I'm going to spread it out evenly to the outer third to make that crisp cut for the wing and to blend out that blush on my on the apples on my cheeks so it's not too much. So now going in with the same palette, I'm going to use the shade My Girls and I'm going to run that underneath my bottom lash line. I first dot it in there to pack on the shade and then after a while I just start to rub it in so that everything is morphed and blended in. I'm gonna go in with my Becky Sue eyeshadow primer. And this is in the shade 3 or Violet, exclusively from Amazon. And I'll be using the brush that comes in the Handayan Water Soluble Painting Plate. So for this step, I decided to zoom into my eyes so you can see how I'm applying this beautiful purple lilac color as my wing liner. With this step, I have to really take my time knowing that the brush isn't precise in order to get that sharp wing that I love. So now I'm going to take that same My Girl shade from the Bright palette and I'm going to overlay that on top of my liner. So my right eye is all set. It is more in the browns category. Now for my left eye, I will be keeping the concealer the same. And then I will be using a couple of new products that you can definitely grab. And this is from Timmy. This one isn't sponsored. I just want to re-show some makeup looks showing both these products in um. Full mode. This is the um, Nude Match Code by Langmani, and then this is the Pastels Lilac Palette by Miss Young. I'm going to link those in the description box below, and I'm going to give you also a discount. The discount will be somewhere on the screen, most likely on the bottom of the screen. So make sure you check it and do use it, because you will get some percentage off. So now for my left eye, it's going to be in another voiceover mode, so continue to keep watching. As I stated before, I'm going to be using the same concealers for both my cut crease and to cover up my entire lid. Even for my bottom lash line too, 
All the products that I'm using in today's video will be in the description box below, even the concealers in which I'm using. So now I'm going into the Nude Magical Lehmani palette. I'm going to use that third shade in which you'll see on the screen, and that is going to act as my transition shade. And this will also go on the outside for my outer third as well. Okay, so now I'm going in to the sixth shade in the Nude Magical palette, and this is going to act as my crease shade. So now I'm um, for my cut crease boundary, I'm going to take that second shade from the Nude Magical palette and just like how I did before, I'm going to do the same thing with this step where I'm doing the first half of my cut crease boundary because again, I want to take the next shade and I want to blend it into that way it is a smooth transition from the shimmer to the matte. So now I'm using the Miss Young Pastels Lilac Palette. I'm going to go into that ninth shade and I'm going to again pack it and then I'm going to run it underneath my lower lash line. And then going into the Lilac Pastels palette by Miss Young, I'm going to take that same purple shade and I'm going to place it on top of my liner. I have done this before in a YouTube video years ago. I'm going to make sure to link it in the cards above. It was very beautiful and a lot of you loved it. So I told myself, why not revisit that method? So I'm back to talking to you all. I did both of my eyes. I want you to tell me in the comments, which side do you like? Do you like the brat side or the Team U side? Let me know, let me know, let me know, okay? One thing I did not do that's gonna be the same are the, um, the eye pencil and my tear ducts and the lashes too. I'm gonna start with my bottom lash line first. So now this is no longer available unfortunately, but this is the Brett and Makeup Revolution Coal Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Yasmin. It really is a lilac purple shade. I know ColourPop has some. I know NYX just released some. So you can definitely get any lilac or purple shade like this and place it right where I'm going to place it. And I don't tug on my eye. I just let the pencil glide. There we go. Nice and bright. You can see the difference. For this one in the picture, I'm going to show the picture again. Her tear ducts were blinging. It was blinding. I usually use the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Collection and that eyeshadow palette and collection, but that is no longer available. So I want to show something that you could possibly buy at the store. And if this is not available either, then I apologize ahead of time. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter, and this is in the shade snowflake i barely wear it because it's very pigmented and it's loud like it's rolling loud like that's how loud it is okay i can say that again if this is not in the store you can get any white highlighter with an iridescent hue to it and you'll be a-okay hey, look at that what 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 the final step is the lashes i mean i know like this looks really good I man i know some people wear they're natural lashes and that is fine too. I'm going to go in with some half lashes. I don't know if you remember, but I had handpicked some half lashes from Timu. I wore it the other day and I feel like it looked really good. It was able to give me that dramatic look that I've been longing for, especially when I wear the wing liners and such. So that is what I will be wearing with this look. This, again, will be linked in the description box below. And you can again use my code to get some percentage off. What I do with these um, half lashes, I apply the lash glue on half of my eye. And then I apply some of the lash glue also onto the band as well. So it really stays.
Like, look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't that doesn't make a difference in the look. All right, so today's mascara I'll be using to clamp these in are the Lash Paradise Waterproof. I didn't want waterproof. This was completely accidental. I like my non-waterproof mascara, but I hear that it stays on longer, and it sure does stay on longer. Then I kind of just go in with like the tip part of this wand. And I also like to comb my lashes in there too. Just so they can match with the rest of the lashes that are there. If you want to do a um, like a full on strip lash, you can do that too. But I prefer half lashes with a wing liner. I just had to go and pick up this um, mini um, tweezer. And this is perfect for half lashes and really all lashes. Because then you go through each segment and you just pinch them in place. That's what I'm doing now. Bomb lashes. I always do my bomb lashes. I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And of course I get this in black. Let me just place that in there quickly and then move on to the very final step of my routine. Now I'm officially and ready for the final step and that is for the lips. I have mostly gold that I'm wearing on my eyes at the moment. So I mean I kind of want to switch it up. So... For today's lippy, I'm going to be doing the Jason Wu Stay In Line Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Mauve Pink. And then I'm going to go in with a lip gloss today. I could do a liquid lipstick, but I didn't want to do that. I kind of want to pop in with something different. I'm so happy I got this shade and I've yet to wear it. I only wore it one time. One time. This is a Juvia's Place Gardens of Juvia's lip gloss that was sold out and left the two colors that not a lot of people were really interested in. And this is in lavender. I'm going to apply lavender on my lips. Yeah. This this definitely goes. So overall, both eyes are looking good. And then the rest of my face is looking really well per usual. The lippy really ties in with the look, especially with the um lip. The liner goes with the transition shades on both eyes, and then the purple obviously goes with the liner, like I stated earlier. So this look is definitely Tay Rose approved. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me. Also, do not forget to click the notification bell. So that we are on the alert as to when my videos are out. There are a few more projects that are coming out. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. And keep posted. Because I post on her all the time. Even, even if it's not a video. I do. I use the community tab. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out the previous videos and section that is coming up next. I will see you over there. Bye. <laughs>